Hey, hey YouTube, it is your girl and I am here with a product review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the She Scented Pomegranate Pear Restorative Hair Mask Intensive Moisture and Repairing Treatment for Dry Hair. So if you saw um, my She Scented haul that I posted on Instagram under Flawlessly Freckled, you guys will know that I got one of each hair mask that they have to offer I was going to test them and rank them so the I had to have something to compare it to now I am an OG she scented um, curly girl <laughs> I have been rocking with she scented for quite some time it was one of my first natural hair care purchases it's the avocado conditioner is a holy grail so I'm going to be comparing it to the avocado conditioner and the original banana brulee conditioner the original one um way back in the day it came in different I can't say flavors but different scents you can pick from three I believe on their old website it was a great 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 hair mask and then they came out with all these different versions and they came out with different conditioners it was the OG favorites that had my heart and the other ones just could not compare so I wanted to see how these new masks compare from the old to now the new so I've had this one for a cool minute. I want to say th four months. And then I ended up repurchasing it again for the Black Friday sale. Um, so I technically have two of these. I used this for the entire month of January 2019. The smell... It smells divine. It smells sweet but creamy it that it smells like pomegranate candy I love the smell and you can see I have used I wanted to save just a little bit of product just for the review so I can show you the texture um it wasn't a super um thick or creamy type of consistency it is more but it's not loose you can see like it's stuck on my fingernail I guess if I keep wiggling it's uh, it'll drop a little but yeah no so um it just it it looks a little on the sheer side um so I did my normal I tried it as a pre poo it worked pretty good as a pre poo so pre poo meaning I, I put it on dry dirty hair um, and then rinse it out and then continue with my regular wash routine it was all right it kind of broke up some of the product it loosened up some of the um the product buildup that i had on my hair so it was okay i tried it as a co-wash when i co-wash i shampoo the roots of my hair and then i put this conditioner on like the the, the length of my hair and on the ends it was okay <laughs> i tried it as a deep conditioner so i did use it um and let, let it sit in my hair for up to 40 minutes with a hot head on top it was okay <laughs> and then i also tried it as a leave-in and when i try them as a leave-in i'm looking for does it make my hair dry and brittle does it keep my hair soft you know the feel of it that how it leaves my hair and then when i rinse it out did i over moisturize my hair or um was there too much protein in it and my hair is dry and brittle after i rinse it out after leaving it in as a leave-in for like a week um it was okay so <laughs> i want to say that it's it's a decent product my hair wasn't super wowed by it when i say wow i and it because it says it's for very dry hair i want my hair to feel soft and moisturized if you have a product that says it's for very dry hair and it's to intensify moisture and be a repairing treatment then i definitely want you to hydrate the hurt out of my hair and um 
repair some stuff I want you to do what it says it does so I tried it numerous ways I tried it um, technically end of December and all of January um, because this is the one that I had first would I repurchase this one probably not because I have not given the other ones a try now you guys know that I do have um, some protein sensitivity however I am uh, regrowing my hair back so I am kind of force feeding it some protein to get it to strengthen and grow and not have any breakage and so on and so forth uh, so this one does have the wheat protein in it but it is one two three four five six seven eighth from the bottom and then it's a, it's a long line so it's eighth from the bottom so it's not a whole bunch of uh, wheat protein in it and you guys know wheat protein does dry my hair out um i didn't get any problems with dryness my hair just felt okay it was all right it wasn't i was not wowed like oh my god my hair is so soft like i do it didn't melt my curls it didn't provide a whole bunch of slip and detangle it gave me great scent it left my hair feeling all right it wasn't dry it was just in the middle it wasn't moisturized and it wasn't dry my hair still felt like hair but it was just all right I mean what else can I say that other than it was okay so um I'm trying to think could I modify this if I was to modify it meaning add more products to it I would definitely add in some Jamaican black castor oil something and some argan oil something that's gonna really soften my hair I mean it has water calendula aloe vera the horsetail pomegranate um, BTMS so that's like the conditioner all words that I know avocado oil sweet almond oil it has castor oil in it already I will probably add more avocado oil and castor oil to it put those up higher and then put in some argan oil for some softness and then I would definitely use this product again but yeah I have like six other she scented conditioners and masks to try so I'm going to try those what I'm going to do is in the description box as I am trying these each and every month I may step away from she scented because I have another product I want to try three more products I want to try but as I do these and review them I will rank them so right now I'm gonna put this as one oh, I'm gonna put this as two because somebody's gonna have to take the top spot and then as I try them I'm going to move them down according to how they performed on my hair and I will rank them accordingly so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later bye